Hey guys, it's Michael here coming to you uh, 26 months out from VSG surgery. I had December 29th, 2012. Um, highest weight 407. Current weight is somewhere between 185 and 190. Been bouncing around there for the past couple of weeks, which is fine. It's where I want to be. Happy. Um. Maintenance, life and maintenance sucks sometimes um, for me. I have uh, gotten relaxed um, with everything again, with my eating, um, working out. Um, It, it's, it's a struggle. I mean, and it's going to be a lifelong struggle, I bet. Um, you know, I don't even know what I want to talk about. I know something that I want to talk about. Binge eating. I hear so many people in this community say, oh, I can't binge no more. Um, I don't feel, I don't get comfort from food no more. I gotta call bullshit. Um, for me, I can still get comfort from food. I can still binge. Um, now is the binging the same as it was prior to surgery? Hell no, it's not. Um, it it's totally different, but it's still a binge. Am I, you know, consuming, you know, 20 nuggets and three cheeseburgers and two tacos and two drinks and fried apple pies and um, going home eating a half gallon of ice cream and a bag of Oreos? No, I'm not. Am I eating a bag of potato chips? Yeah. Am I eating a sleeve of cookies? Yeah, I can do that. Um, do I feel good when I do it? Oh, yeah, I love it. I feel a comfort. I'm in my safe spot. Do I get the guilt afterwards like I used to? Oh, hell yeah. Especially if it makes me sick. I feel guilty and I want to beat myself up. Like, oh my God, why did you do that? You know, the same shit that... Um, I would tell myself before. So, yes, binging is real. Binging after weight loss surgery, yeah, you can still do it. Is it the same type of binging? No. You know, so when I hear people say, oh, I can't binge, you know, I'm sorry. Um,. I don't believe you all the time. You know, it's just me keeping it real and telling you how I feel. Um, yes, that's a Diet Coke. Yes, I still drink soda. It is what it is. Um, other than that, I mean, that's just some of the struggles that I'm, I'm going through right now um, with being in maintenance. Uh, I binge. I I have mental shit that I need to work on. Um, do I get off track? Yes. Do I stay off track? No. Will I get back on track? Hell yeah. Other than that, life is great. Um... I got good friends that I can turn to and talk to in this time that I'm crazy Michael. Um, so, it is a lifelong struggle. There is no cure for emotional eating, for food addiction. 
All we can do is work on it and be aware of it. The key is to be aware of your addiction and your habits and try to cope with them. Try to tame them. Will they always be there? Yes. Will an alcoholic always be an alcoholic? Yes. They'll just be a recovering alcoholic. Will I always be a binger? Yes. Will I always be an emotional eater? Yes. Will I always be a food addict? Yes. All I can do is recover from them and watch the, my triggers. Well, I hope someone gets something out of this video, um, this update. That's where I am today. Keeping it real. Telling it like it is. That's what Michael is right now. So, um, please thumbs up. No thumbs down, please. I don't like thumbs downs. I know I'll get some. I'll be back later. Talk to y'all. Maybe with some less rambles. Less craziness. I don't even know if this made sense. Um, don't forget to check me and Christy out um, this coming Sunday on Sizzle This um, at 8 p.m. Central, I mean, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we've got a veteran that's coming on. She is 10 years out from r and I believe. So come check us out, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.